a quick intervention before this video starts. I just want to preface this video by saying I'm not going to give any advice like weed waffles and then go out in public and wear shit like this with a haircut like this, okay? I don't know who trusted this man to make any type of look smacking advice, but this is not it, okay? You cannot. What is this? All right, never mind. Enjoy the video. All right, what's up, guys? Welcome to my look smacking step by step guide. This is going to be literally just a full guide of everything that I've done in my life to improve my looks and thereby my dating success and just in general bro i have friends now and i used to never you know have a social life type shit so this shit will help help you 100 percent and um if you do everything 110 percent bro i promise you you will see results no matter where you start uh, if you do start average you can literally get to a seven obviously if you have deformities and shit like that it's going to be a little bit more difficult but everything in this video will be there just to help you. All right, let's get right into it. No bullshit. First is skincare, okay? You need to do this at least once a day. Now, you need to, if you don't know how to do this shit, you go in the shower and you have this shit in the shower, all right? What this does is you cleanse your skin. Then when you get out the shower, once a week, apply this. Um, it's literally so simple. And then you use the moisturizing lotion after. And these are just to pluck your monobrows. Don't have monobrows. Take care of your skin. It's going to look way better in a month. This is all you need, uh, and then a sunscreen. If you don't wear sunscreen, uh, it's also okay. I don't, I don't use sunscreen. I probably should, but these, this is so important. Like your skin will look so much better, especially with this. This is literally heaven sent. Okay, um, these two are just cheap and work. Don't get hyped into all the hundred dollar expensive stuff. These are super cheap. Also, make sure you plug your eyebrows. You know, in between your eyebrows, you use these and. Um, even on your face if you want to really hair care what do i mean by this get a haircut that literally suits you okay if you're middle eastern this type of hairstyle really suits you because you have like curly hair and like thick hair so like this type of fade really looks nice on you listen in my opinion you should shave your face that's just my opinion i think 99.9 percent .9 of guys looks they just look better without a beard but like this guy he looks good with a beard and this guy also i think it depends on your skin tone and your race essentially i think asian and white guys definitely shouldn't have beards uh and just find a haircut that suits you and get get your haircut at least once a month preferably every two to three weeks um, no monobrow none of these guys have it um maybe this guy does because he's middle east no never mind um no monobrow obviously and find a suitable haircut okay if your hairline starts here don't get this right get like curls or like what this guy's doing um, this is probably one of my favorite haircuts for white guys um, you know it's literally just a, a high fade or a medium medium fade and uh, I think this is actually a French like French crop but it looks fucking amazing and then obviously if you're Asian or whatever you are Indian just find something that suits you and shampoo once a week two times a week don't do it more than that and then obviously get some products that helps you uh, style your hair hair is huge it's it's pretty big um, if this guy went bald he would be you know you guys know hygiene this is huge bro please if you're gonna listen to anything in this video please listen to the hygiene bro the deodorant is as needed i use this one uh, actually exactly this one um sometimes i'll use a like a neutral one just for not sweating i guess um but I, I have some friends that have really bad excessive underarm smells uh, and i've i've recommended some deodorants to them and they uh, use like a neutral smelling antiperspirant uh, which you should use if you you know sweat a lot of it you know what i mean uh, a nice cologne this is so good the tom ford oud wood oud wood sorry uh, it's fire. It's literally just one of the best that I've tried. Uh, it lasts super long and I haven't actually gotten random compliments from it, but the, the women that I've met in my life and stuff, uh, and especially friends, really like this one. So, uh, obviously shower every day, clip your nails, and this body lotion is just an example, but this one is actually really good and smells amazing. Um, so yeah, this is essential. You need to do this. If you don't do this, <sighs> yeah, you're in big trouble. Tanning, this is only for like pale guys, twice a week, do it for 14 minutes. I, I do this personally and um, it just made a huge difference in my looks. Uh, if you're white, really white, tan twice a week, obviously rather in the sun, but uh, 
use one of these in winter times. Whatever, bro. Get skin cancer, dude. Alright, teeth. This is so huge also. This is so huge. Look at this. Look at the difference, bro. It's the same, man. Same beard, everything like that. But just look at how much more attractive this looks. If you're meeting a guy, imagine you're a woman, right? And you meet a guy. And he smiles at you like this. It's like... This, this this is such a huge difference, bro. Like, no woman would want to talk to a guy with teeth like this. It just, I, never mind. Let me let me get back on track. Brush your teeth twice a day. If you're not already doing that, then there's something's wrong with you. Get a water flosser. Honestly, in my opinion, this makes your just your breath. It it eradicates bad breath, in my opinion. Uh, you could also get a tongue scraper and stuff like that. Uh, get professional teeth whitening. Um, that's kind of why I put this, but you can also get the white strips. Uh, me personally, um, I like having white teeth. So, uh, and then if your teeth are fucked, get veneers. This is expensive. You can go to like Turkey or Dubai or something, and it's a little bit more uh, affordable. This is why you should work hard, guys. Um, it's not really to become a millionaire. Who cares? Why? Why throw away your life to become a millionaire? But definitely have money so you can fix your teeth. Cause look, look at the huge difference, bro. Like this is one of the things that I've personally fixed. I kind of went from not this yellow but pretty yellow teeth to I have literally this white teeth now. Um, I can prove that if people don't believe me. But uh, yeah, this is a huge one. It'll give you a plus one in best case scenarios and at least half a point. At least, bro. I promise. All right. Then we have general health. Um, by 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 that I mean literally just you know what are you eating? You know, get some good food. Um, don't eat junk food all day and chips and snacks and sweets and all of that stuff. Uh, generally, bro, avo avoid as much sugar as you can in drinks. Uh, if you really want to drink soda, get like a Coke Zero or Pepsi Max or whatever without sugar. It, one, it makes a huge difference on your skin. And not only that, bro, it makes a huge difference in like um, just your weight, bro. And, and let's be honest. A lot of people are a little bit overweight um, so and, and getting down to a nice body fat is so huge uh, obviously no smoking this is more actually the reason why I never smoked or you know smoked uh, the devil's lettuce is um, for teeth bro like again if you smoke your teeth are gonna get stained don't smoke um, obviously the gym blah 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 everyone knows gym 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 to be honest, it's not that huge. Uh, I'd rather say get into a combat sport. This this is boxing, obviously, if you don't know. Um, and I personally do boxing, and um, it's such a huge motivation. Um, like, every single day, you just get a confidence boost because you know, okay, if something happens, I know how to defend myself. It could be jujitsu, it could be anything. You get into good shape, and you, yeah, it's not going to make you look that much better um unless you already are at like a pretty obese weight then exercise is amazing obviously clothing this is huge also look i've i've, I've picked four different guys here right obviously we have justin bieber uh with the street skater boy style i guess you could call it um uh, i wear jeans like this sometimes and, and hoodies like this and it, it look it just looks good bro it looks really good um find something that you like though like like it could be one of these four this is just examples but find something that you like and that fits you um and you're good bro if you're overweight don't wear this right don't wear the michael b jordan tight fitted you know showing off his muscles and stuff don't wear that if you're overweight then lose the weight obviously but also wear like a hoodie you know what i mean so this one uh, I like I like this one a lot. I like this one a lot, and I actually like this one a lot. So we have the the Michael B. Jordan formal style. Uh, I know a lot of women love this one. Like, um, I think it's because it's so rare. Like, it you don't see it in in real life really, uh, unless you're like 30 or something like that. Um, so yeah, if you like this, go for that. If you have to be in shape though, like you look so bad if you're just skinny or overweight when um, when wearing this. We have the Noah Beck, pretty boy, uh, rich guy style, um, just a sweater. It looks so basic, but looks so clean, you know, the black jeans, the, I forgot the brand, but just expensive sweater. Listen, you can make this cheaper, obviously, but it just looks so clean. Uh, again, look at the haircut, right? Like he found something that works for him. 
and look look how he just accessorizes it right the accessorizes it skater boy obviously no accessories because he doesn't care he wants it to look that way then we have the uk drill uk trap boy style actually me personally i wear a bit of this a bit of this and a bit of this um depends on like my mood and stuff like that but i'll wear those three uh consistently um, and this one really works with a lot of women i don't know why maybe it's my area but this one right here not that i live in a hood or something like that but um, this one the women in my area just really like i think uh if i had to give you an age this one between 16 and 20 this one really works i think the other ones are above 20 years old you should probably be wearing this i think this one the jb one also works uh, below 20 but yeah find a clothing style that you like this is huge also vitamins and supplements this is going to be one of the last ones just take your vitamins bro uh vitamin d obviously if you don't get sunshine just i have this one actually uh, and it's 2500 international units i just take one a day and i got checked out my blood ooh, like two weeks ago everything was good uh, my vitamin d was high which is good omega 3s just find one i use this one uh and it's it's really fly like it's really really good uh my omega 3s are fine i don't eat fish so that's why i take this and then i take this one i don't know they just taste good and are pretty cheap so uh, if it helps even five percent why not take it that's it guys uh there's things i didn't touch on here um and i'll quickly address why surgery uh, I guess veneers is a little bit of a surgery, but I'm talking about like rhinoplasty, if that's the name, or um, you know, jaw surgery, or you know, hairline surgery, all of that. I think that's extreme. Uh, I don't think it's worth even the investment. I guess a hairline surgery is fine, but yeah, I don't think um, I'm the one that should be giving you advice on getting rhinoplasty, like you know, your nose. Um, you know, that's something that should weigh the consequences yourself uh, this is a big one guys if you are short you're short okay don't wear height boosters because they're the most cringe thing i've ever seen in my life i know some people i know, i saw a guy on youtube who was six one wearing shoe boosters bro i am five ten five eleven i don't wear that shit. i live in a country that's one of the highest like on average heights i'm short in my country and it doesn't make a difference bro it you, you can get women without that shit please guys do not get shoe boosters when you take them off you're gonna feel so bad and w when you're at a woman's house you take off your shoes w what are you gonna do like what do you like i never understood that bro uh and then obviously depression and mental sickness and stuff like that listen i'm not a therapist if you do do the things that i've said it's definitely gonna help uh on your mental um state so um, I don't feel qualified to be able to just, you know, tell you what to do to get rid of depression or whatever. Um, and if your depression is caused by your looks, how it was for me, then please do all of these things. And, and in a year or two, you'll definitely see results. We have no fap. Um, me personally, guys, I think fapping is a great thing. Uh, if you don't do it too often, I do it once a week or something like that. Um, but obviously, I just I just feel like no fab is kind of cringe. Um, that's my opinion, bro. Uh, yeah. Listen, fapping to porn is one thing, but fapping to like, um, you know, girls that you know that are sending you uh, images. Yeah, I don't see the problem. I I hope this helped, and I hope you guys listen to it because this is so simple advice, but it's gonna change so much if you haven't already changed something um yeah i wish you good luck and um yeah maybe soon i'll show my whole looks maxing journey and you know in pictures because there's a huge difference um but yeah we'll see